You've heard of glamping, right, Jason? Of course. All right, it's highbrow camping with all mm. the modern conveniences of homes, so not really yeah. camping at all, right? Zero percent. <laughs> but as Rebecca Coles will show us, nothing these days is really traditional, which is why setting up camp in the backyard might be the perfect cure for beating the COVID-19 blues. <laughs> It's a marvelous night for a moon dance with the stars up above in your eyes. When my kids were younger, we had a family tradition of camping every year in a tent. It was non-negotiable even as they got older. Well, today with COVID, camping is confusing if not complicated. But there's no reason you can't enjoy the great outdoors right in your own backyard. So the first thing you need is shelter. If you have a tent, pop it up. If not, go online. There are great DIY tutorials how to make a tent. Uh, oh, that's 30 points! Now to keep kids occupied, you need games. If you don't have long games, you can easily make your own. Here, we're taking a ladder, putting up points, and this is going to be a ladder toss. Outdoor bingo is always fun. Now, there's games you can actually buy, but I actually created my own. Now, since Quinn is only three years old, I just have a couple of spots. I'm going to have her run around and collect nature stuff. Show it to me. Good All right, job. great. You take direction, Pleasure and Grandma. the fun and challenge of camping is starting a fire. But to help make it easier, you can make fire starters by taking toilet paper rolls, the cardboard rolls, and stuffing them with lint from the dryer. Okay, there's one. These are going to start, and we're going to make s'mores with these. Oh, look how fast that starts. Now, as far as food is concerned, we could do the traditional hot dog on a stick, but come on, we're at home. We're going to kick it up a notch and do foil dinners with New York strip and veggies from the garden. So first things you're going to do is select your veggies, put them on the foil, and then we'll drizzle it with olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and top it off with steak and a little garlic butter. How does that sound? Here we have garlic butter infused with rosemary, some thyme, any of your favorite seasonings, and we're going to drizzle about Not two fine. tablespoons Not over the top fine. of that. Now to pack it up, we're going to bring over the sides and roll the top down about two or three times. You want to leave it tented. Now we can throw these on the fire, put them on the grill, or put them in the oven about 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. But it's worth taking a peek at them about 15, 20, because if you like it rare like this guy, you might want to pull them off earlier. All right, you guys. Oh, look at that deliciousness. Get all the nice magic seem to And after dinner, of course, you need s'mores. Mm. Snickers. Go, Let's show, do Snickers. Oh, Ooh, no, Snickers. Okay. Yum. Oh, man. Oh, look at you. You got a snow cone, a s'more cone. Mm. Oh, my goodness. It gets all over your face. OK, here we go. OK, open her up. And let's go lay down your go lay, lay down your sleeping bag. You leap across the rainbow sky and dance on clouds that float up high. Oh, look at the birds. I love my magic llama corn. Staying safe in the backyard. I'm Rebecca Coles. Rebecca's got more tips on her Instagram page. Uh, make sure you go give that a follow. Cute kids, cute animals. Great soundtrack, too. Uh -huh. 